There's an idea that we've been playing around with in the Beis HaMedrash based on a Tikkune Zohar. And we use this idea when we were speaking about Lagba Omer, this idea and this hopefully manifestation in our reality is so important. And to be honest, it's life-changing. It really is. There's a beautiful Torah in the Tikkune Zohar that speaks to us about the letter Bet of Bereshit and the dot in the middle of the Bet of Bereshit. And it speaks about how the Bet correlates to Chochmah and the dot correlates to Bina. So you have this relationship of the Bet and the dot of the Bet. What we can say is as following to bring it into a practice. That is that in life we have being a human being and we have being a human doing. Now what's gone on in life is as following, that majority of people are wonderful, they're excellent at being human doings. We're constantly doing things, we're constantly busy, we're constantly isek, we're, we're really in what we're doing wherever we are. Human doings is very prevalent in our reality. And who says all those doings are good? That's number one. We're busy. We're doing things. But who says what we're doing is actually good? But then there's another reality to human doing. And that is the human being. And what is the being? The being is centering ourselves. Whereas the human doing is going out, it's moving, it's expanding, it's opening up. It's moving forward. The human doing is coming back in. The human being, the human doing is, is sorry, the human being is coming back in. The human being is centering themselves. The human being is the breath. The human being is stillness. The human being is silence. So we have this activity and we have this movement and then we have this stillness and quiet. The human doing and the human being. And in, in life, what happens is that one of these areas become a lot more active than the other. So, for example, if you would speak maybe in your own life, the human doing, the busyness of doing, the busyness of being active, even though it may not be so good, the distractions are far more activated in our everyday living. And what's far less activated it's coming to visit yourself, coming to recognize yourself, coming back inside. And the Kabbalists explain that we want to have a balancing of the expansion, of the growth and change, of the movement and the noise, and as well the balancing of coming in, the revisiting of the inner self, the tranquility, the silence, the stillness. And we want to be able to come out and in, Ratzavashov. We want to be able to oscillate between these two realities. What happens when we do? What are the benefits? So the benefits we can suggest are that we live in a much, a much more confident way. I'm actually living the life I want to be living. I'm doing what I want to be doing. Some people are so entrenched in doing and they don't visit themselves. They don't even know where they are. And then one day when they stop and notice where they are, they come to realize, I'm not where I want to be. And we can change that. We do have a command and a demand over what we become in this world. So what I can suggest is as following. Stop. To be a human being. Let's take one exercise. One exercise, and this is something I learned from a couple of my spiritual masters, and I find them to be incredibly helpful. And, and that's just to come and notice where I am in the present moment. So I've got the human doing, where I'm going in life, and I want to make sure it is where I'm going in life. So I have the human being. So what you can do is come in and take a breath. Just follow the breath in and follow the breath out. A few times, five times. Notice what that feels like. And then we can add to that, feeling the ground under our feet, just feeling the pressure of the ground under our feet, 
however we're positioned. So right now I'm sitting. So what does it feel like to sit in this chair? Just listen. And look. And bring yourself to the present moment. Exit the mind. Enter the present moment. Deeply be in the moment. And allow yourself to notice what's going on inside. And the goal is, if we start this practice, what will happen is that we will be more in sync, more aligned. That as we are practicing human doing, it could be with the relationship of human being. And there's no mismatch, we're deepening our connection. So I hope, my dear and beautiful friends, that what we have said is of interest. It is, I think so. It's helpful. And I'll ask you, in your lives, I challenge you, I invite you, practice it. Practice it. And hopefully tomorrow we will speak for another couple of moments. And we should live a blessed life. We should live a life where we're being beautiful human doings. We're bringing out good, amazing, brilliant things. Yet, and, we relate to ourselves as human beings. And there's this relationship to know where we're moving in life is actually where we want to be moving. And we can involve ourselves in the process, healthy process, as we move to attain all our wonderful and beautiful goals. I love you all very much. Shita bracha, mazel, and hatzlacha, kol tov, and God bless.